Aren't these scenes beautiful? The tastes come from Tuscany, that magic section of it, Italy. And a little inn there that serves only 8 to 10 people at a time. If you're planning a trip to Italy, this could be on your must-see, must-try, must-eat list. It's called the Tuscan Way, run by the Intocinte family. And Isabella Intocinte. Huh? Yes, hi. I practiced. Hi. Hi, everybody. She is the daughter of the founder who's here with us today. You have a full-time job here in the States marketing this whole thing to get people to come over yes. to your dad's villa and they learn to cook and eat and have all that yes, fun time. Yes, this is actually our home in Tuscany and uh, we have a beautiful home uh, in a small little village called Arcidosso and in a home the people come from America, from all over America and also from Canada and uh, they are our guests so they come in a real house in a home and they and they cook every day and then the rest of the day they go um, visit the little small villages around the oh, area. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, it's very nice. Well, so tell us, when you come over to your dad's house, your home, mm -hmm. um, you get to actually take the cooking lessons. Yes. So your dad shows them exactly yeah. how everything's prepared. My father, his name is Carlo, and he has been in the restaurant business for many years. In fact, he even had a restaurant in our own home in the cellar. We have a beautiful cellar with a, uh, with a garden. And he specializes in Tuscan cooking, which is country cooking. It's very, very simple dishes, but very tasteful. All the ingredients are from Tuscany. Uh, not many ingredients, but again, very fresh ingredients. And in fact, today I'm preparing one of our favorite uh, dishes, which is uh, pasta with zucchini. And these are the penne here. And, uh, and uh, it's a very simple sauce with uh, zucchini and garlic and basil and parmesan cheese and ground pepper. So you're starting with the garlic and oil. Mm -hmm. And then just uh, almost right away I put the zucchini so that the garlic doesn't burn. And so our guests can learn how to, how to um, cook these uh, recipes. We have a lot of uh, pasta sauces, we have meats, we have uh, fish. And, uh, and then they, what they like a lot, it's because the kitchen, it's a real kitchen. It's just like this. It's, uh, it's very, um, it's much more rustic. And everybody <coughs> sits around this beautiful um, um, wood um, table and they cook all together and they actually prepare and stare and chop and everything. <laughs> so it's very... When I think of a Tuscan kitchen, real. I always think of one of those beautiful brick ovens. Do you have one of those? Yes, we have it in the garden. And it's so big that you can make bread there. Uh, for Easter, Easter day, my father, we had some, some guests over from America, and my father, he made an entire lamb. And he put it right in the oven with big potatoes, baked potatoes, and that's a... Uh, I, I think in many countries that's a traditional, uh, traditional uh, dish to make the the meat, the lamb. Is the foot and mouth problem has that uh, a big concern uh, in Italy? Just a little bit right now. Um, I mean, it's not really a big concern, but the government to make it safer, what they did is you cannot buy steaks, no beef. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, in our cooking courses, we, um, we don't have beef because we can't even buy beef. Oh, okay. So, we have lamb, chicken, veal, you can do uh, fish, or all of these, and uh, lots of vegetables. Because right. in Italy, the, 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 the cooking is very healthy. Oh, look so. how beautiful. Wow. Okay, so we've got our zucchini, we've got our garlic going, mm -hmm. we've got our oil. So, you're sauteing yes. this. Yes, I'm sauteing. And then what you do is you just stir with the, and you even put some more because the olive oil is very important and it has to be extra virgin olive oil. The best is from Tuscany. Here I have, for example, some, uh, some organic olive oil. That mm -hmm. means that there are no preservatives, nothing. And this comes mm -hmm. directly, I bought it in Tuscany. And when our guests come, they, bu they buy lots of olive oil and they buy wine as well. The extra virgin mean it's been put through the press many times? Is that what that means? Uh, it's cold press. It's mm -hmm. cold press, yes. Right. And it's, uh, it's the thicker. It's, you see, it's very dark. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not light. It, all the, the, uh, uh, the contents are not taken out of it. Okay. So it's much more thicker to the taste, much more tasty. Well, we've only got about a minute left. Should okay. we show uh, what yeah. happens? We'll do a presto change here. There you go. All righty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 
Then we have to heat up. This is how it looks when it's done. So it's not really there, just lightly cooked. There. And then what you do is you, you actually Here put the in penny. the penne and you... Penny for your thoughts. Yes. And you stir all together. This looks great. I also see it looks like you have either, is that bad we basil can put over it, there or cilantro? Huh? Oh, no, yes. that's basil, basil. Mm -hmm. We don't use much cilantro in the, actually at all. We don't have cilantro in Tuscany. Mm. We use lots of basil and parsley and sage and rosemary for roasts. And uh, so you put lots of basil. And then what it's really nice to, with this is you add the ground pepper like that and then the fresh parmesan cheese not from cans from real <laughs> parmesan cheese because that's the most important yeah, thing i'm busted on that but as yeah. we're uh, looking at the finishing touches here we yes. want to let you know to find out more about the tuscan way including recipes we'll take you to the tuscan way website by simply logging on to our website at nbc6.net and then click on the link section and to contact isabel personally about one of these fabulous journeys the number is 305-446-0127 and this looks absolutely and fabulous if, and you can contact us you can even call me to have the recipe of this dish there's no problem I can give it to you it's very easy and you will enjoy it I'm sure for the summer it's a wonderful dish oh well you're you're a wonderful dish yourself very charming thank, thank you for you. being with us you thank are you're you just wonderful much. Jerry back to you And we're going to show you how to make a quick and easy hors d'oeuvre or an appetizing appetizer. Our Friday cook-along is next. Stay with us, please. It is Friday cook-along time, and once again, we're going to show you how to make a treat that you'll have to travel several thousand miles to get if you can't make it yourself. Chef Isabel Innocente is back with us. Did I get that right? Yes. Great. Very nice to see you. Lisa, nice to see you again, yes. too. Back with us. She is the head of the U.S. and South Florida office of Tuscan Way, which is an Italian resort run by her family in Tuscany. Tell us how this whole concept got started. It got started about three years ago when my father, since he was all alone in his house, he has a four-story house, actually five with the cellar, and in Tuscany, in southern Tuscany, Italy. And so he, um, he was retiring, and my mother passed away about eight years ago. So he was living there by himself because I'm gone, my brother's gone. And so he said, you know, Isabel, you know I have a passion for cooking. So I love to cook, and I love uh, uh, Americans and Canadians and Germans. And so why don't, since you live in America, have people come over to our house as guests, as personal guests, and I'll show them how to cook, and I'll take them to see my villages that I love so much around the area, which are the most famous villages, of course, in Italy and Tuscany. And so that's how it started. Amazing. So people who not only want to go to Tuscany to learn about tradition there, but also want to learn how to cook the how foods of the area. Very important. They get yeah. it all in one place. All in one place. In right. one house, in one uh, kitchen. In your house. In my house, where I grew all right. up. Tell, exactly. us, uh, tell us what you're going to make first today. So today we're making a very popular Italian and Tuscan appetizer. There are two versions of them. And uh, it's uh, bruschetta al pomodoro with uh, fresh plum tomatoes. They have to be very ripe. Now, where do you find tomatoes that fresh? Well, even at the market here in America, or in Tuscany we use these, or if not, the Romano tomatoes. And uh, they have to be very ripe, though. And then mm -hmm. we use the bread. It has to be grilled. And all you do is you take the bread that's been already grilled, you take a garlic, and you rub it on the bread. This is very, in fact, we're having tours now in November, and uh, uh, you just, it's very, very easy. And what they do, the Tuscan, they use it to, um, to taste the fresh olive that's been made. 
like in the olive presses, they do this as an appetizer, but also in every day, you know, cooking as an appetizer before pasta, before your first course usually. And then you take the very good Tuscan olive oil and uh, you put it on top like this. And so you really test the, te uh, taste the olive oil. Isabel, and then you go. Why, why would people want to go all the way to Italy to learn how to cook Italian food? It, you, you would think that Italian cooking is kind of simple. It's very simple, you're right. It's very simple, that's why, but it's very healthy. I think now it's really popular, Italian food, because it's very healthy. Well, it's gotten healthier, hasn't it, over the last yes. five, ten years? Yes. In fact, my father, he doesn't believe in butter. He uses only extra virgin olive oil, and he doesn't make it cook like... Maybe, you know, our grandmothers or our great-grandmothers uh, in Italy, they would like uh, make a, um, a ragu, like a meat sauce, and they would cook it for hours and hours and hours. My father, he just cooks it in an hour, it's finished, it's done. He puts the spaghetti all together, you know, and it's done. So it's very healthy and it's very simple, that's why people, and it's cheap. Now, you know, it's a big deal, it's a big deal when, uh, when we start inviting four people over for dinner. Now, how many mm -hmm. people can you accommodate in your dad's house? That's right. We accommodate uh, a maximum of six people. This year has been so popular, we are fully booked, and uh, so we kind of uh, have uh, sometimes seven, eight people. But my father prefers six people because it's uh, it's absolutely better that way so let's take a look at, uh, yes. at, at the final product here. yes so this what you do is you put it on the bread and this is the sauce and uh, you chop the tomatoes and you and you put uh, basil on it basil mm -hmm. chopped garlic and uh, uh, lots of olive oil no vinegar salt and pepper that's all you do where does this garlic come from this is from Tuscany. That's not, that's not available to us. No, 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 no. If you come to our place, we'll, we'll go to the market together. And uh, there you go. You can buy the garlic. Where did most of your guests come from? Uh, from, uh, uh, from in, in Florida, they come from, um, some from Miami, but mostly Boca Raton, West Palm Beach, New York, California, Canada, from all over. We have people from Hong Kong, from all over. Thank you very much, Thank Isabel, you for very, being with us today. Much. This smells great. Thank you. If you'd like to immerse yourself in an Italian food and wine experience and want to travel to Italy to get it, you can contact Isabel at 305-446-0127 or if out of Miami-Dade County, 800-766-2390. Kelly? Thank you, Bob.